Hey friends, today we are going to talk about how to end our writing. We've been working through personal narrative over the past several weeks and you guys have done amazing. Your teachers and I have loved reading your writing. You guys have learned how to create a good beginning, how to plan across five pages, how to add in dialogue, how to write out your thoughts and add details to your writing just like a real author does. Well, there's one last piece to our editing. Remember, editing is how we fix up our writing. There's one last piece and that's the ending. Sometimes the ending is the most important part of the story. I wanna show you this chart I have on endings. I wanna talk about some details and some things that you can make sure is in your ending. All right, so I wanna tell you that a good ending is not the end. We're not doing that. Now, the end is okay at the absolute end, but that's not considered a good ending. A good ending is something that closes your story, that tells how you feel or something that you've learned. So when you're writing your ending, I want you to look back at page five of your story. So if you need to flip to your journal, go ahead and flip to your journal in page five. And I want you to pause the video right now and I want you to just read what you have. All right, so now you've read what you have on page five, okay? I want you to think, did you reflect on your story? And when I say reflect, I want to think about what's something you might do different. Maybe what you had planned didn't go right. I think about my story about how I almost got eaten by a bear and getting eaten by a bear really was not my plan for that day. So that's a time when I could reflect on what might have gone, what I wanted to go differently. Um, I could tell something you learned. Okay, so you could tell something that you learned from what happened. Maybe you learned a lesson. Maybe you learned about something you're never gonna do again. But just think about what is something I could have learned. Also, if your story was about making a decision, maybe your story is about picking out a puppy or maybe deciding where to go on your vacation. Talk about a decision you've made or maybe your ending could be a decision to do something again that you can't wait to go back. That's what it is to make a decision. And so these are things. You do not need to do all three things for your ending, but everybody's personal narrative is just a little bit different. And so we wanna do something that's going to make sense for our ending. All right, so remember, we're not gonna put the end. That's not considered an ending. We're actually gonna add some and edit a little bit of detail. All right, so if I go back to my story on page five, just like you guys have on your page five, I added in some details to mine, but where I got my idea, it came from a real live author. And we've read this book, Owl Moon by Jane Yolen. I'm not gonna read you the whole book today. I just wanna focus on the ending. And so I wanna read to you this very last page. It says, when you go owling, you don't need words or warm or anything, but hope is something that she learned. That's what Pa says. The kind of hope that flies on silent wings under a shining moon. And so she wrote in her story about something that she learned there to close out the story. All right, I kind of did the same with mine. Now, if you remember, this is a story about me almost getting eaten by a bear and I got out of the truck and I was trying to show my family where the bear was and all of a sudden the bear came running towards me. All right. Well, at least I thought it was me. I found out he was just going after another animal. So it wasn't really me. But I ended my story on page five. It says, I dove back into the truck. I was so scared. Luckily, the bear wasn't coming after me, but he was going towards the deer. That made me sad, but I was relieved. And then I added in a detail that I wasn't going to be that bear's dinner. That was probably a good thing. We rolled up the windows and went back to the cabin. But then I thought about what our author did, Jane Yolen, and what I told you guys a good ending sounds like. And I really reflected, or I thought back to how I felt, or I thought back to something I could have learned from that story. What would I have done differently? So I added in, next time we see a bear, I will be sure to stay inside the truck. But this time, I was just thankful I was safe. And that's how I ended my story. So I thought back and I told something that I learned, something that I would do differently. 
and I use those details to just add a sentence or two to the ending of my story. Now, your job today is to go to your page five and to add an ending to your story. You're gonna think about where your setting was, what the problem was in your story, and think about, hmm, is there something I could have learned? Was there something I should have done different? Or is there something I can't wait to do again? All right, so think about those details, add a little to your ending, submit a picture to your teacher, and we can't wait to see your writing. Good luck, happy writing.